go boom, boom, boom. And let's resume. Oh, that's cool. Dude, it just melted those other ragdolls. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of People Playground. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today, we're going to be checking out the Human Tier mod. So this is a mod that adds a ton of new humans. Uh, right now, you're seeing the Zero Tier, which this is the normal human. Uh, the one that's default to the game and you're seeing a tier 4 human over here so you're probably asking yourself well what's the difference well the tier 0 which is the normal human in the game it's pretty weak so for example oops I just shot right through that one but if you paid attention there the tier 4 human it regenerates health and it's a lot stronger so if we go boom Look at that, it actually stops its own bleeding. That's actually kind of cool. It takes a lot to attempt to take this thing down. So there's some tiers in between. There's like a tier two and a tier three, which are slightly stronger humans. I ran some tests on them. Uh, there's not a huge difference in them, but they are stronger than your, uh, I guess we'll call it the tier zero. So beyond this, it gets really, really crazy. Like your tier fours, fives, and sixes, they all have powers. And then eventually you work your way up to like a basically a god tier which is pretty amazing so we're gonna be playing with these tiers today if you guys are excited for some more people playground maybe hit that thumbs up button it helps out my channel and let's do this okay so our tier zero weakling we're gonna throw them over here this is fine uh let's see maybe we're gonna go a little more extreme here with our tier four can you uh maybe not burn here is this a thing are you fire resistant uh, okay, so they're burning. I think they're regenerating so fast that they're actually, uh, he's actually gonna be fine. Hmm, we might have to get an explosive out. This is kind of like a superhuman. Like, it's like an indestructible ragdoll, except for it can take damage. I kind of picture it being like Wolverine from X-Men, uh, where he'll take damage and then he can regenerate. Okay, buddy, obviously the fire is not doing much here. Let's go ahead and put you out. Look at that, he's fine. And he hops right back up. That's actually really cool. All right, what about head trauma? <laughs> Let's see what happens there. Let's go, huh, what the, that's actually cool. Okay, what about explosives? That's gotta be able to take you out, right? Um, let's go with the, the new landmine here. So I need you to go ahead and walk over here. So keep in mind, this is a tier four. So here it goes, boom. Oh, wait, what? Uh, okay, this is a first. We've got half a body walking now. Wait, where's the top half? What the? This is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in People Playground. So it's walking. Wait, so does this make an indestructible human? Can we hit it with the nuke? Oh no, we've got to try this. All right, let's get some more tier fours here. So we'll go tier fours, boom, okay. And we're gonna plop a good old atom bomb beside him. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So question, do you think they actually survived that? Can a tier four human survive a nuke? A piece just flew by the screen. Uh, what the, that's creepy. They actually survived an atom bomb. How? Like, boom, do it again. That's incredible. So, okay, here they come. We got flying bits flying this way. Like, even if they break apart, they're still alive. Wait a minute. Oh, and did we finally take one out? No, look at this. That's like a half a body dancing around. What's over here? You gotta be kidding me. So, we have a indestructible human. So, they only get more extreme from here. We've got other tier fours. We've got the Midas, which just turns flesh into gold. So this guy's got like a little crown here. So we can get this guy. Hey, by the way, oh, hey, get over there. Uh-oh. I don't know if the Midas people are, wait, can they burn? Do they have some sort of a uh, health regeneration? They may or may not. I think I need to reset this real quick. Okay, so we have our Midas touch god. Let's go ahead and tell them to walk. So when they touch stuff, it should turn it to gold. I think I need them to attack each other. He's not really uh, using his 
arms there. So let's go, here, let's go slow-mo. Grab your arm and just, oh, look at it actually start to activate when it gets close. Let's go, whoop. Dude, that's so cool. Wait, does the gold, wait, the gold actually makes the, the person heavy. What if you were to make his head gold? Oh, and I need you to touch his head. You need to bless him. All right, get up here. Here, let's go slow-mo. Okay, touch his head. There it goes. And, dude, he's heavy now. He can hardly stand, oh, he can't stand up. That's so cool. So what happens if you blow up a Midas Touch God? Does it explode into like gold dust or something? Is that a thing? Oh, and he's walking this way. Let's go ahead and pause it here. I'm just curious. Spawn one of these, boom. Okay. Oh, I think I just broke something. This is fine. So was the Midas Touch God, is he, does he regenerate health? He does not. Uh, he just turns stuff to gold. I mean, that's still cool nonetheless. Actually, I think he's still got his powers. There's a ton of possibilities. Like, there's a bunch of different things you could do with these. These are so cool. I like this. All right, so one thing I'm doing real quick. I'm turning on AI. That way they can actually fight each other. So we'll have, like, the different tiers attempt to take each other over. So this one's an acid uh, tier, acid human. So if I spawn these in here and I tell him to go berserk... He's gonna go over. Oh, here we go. No, 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 buddy. No, 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 no. You're supposed to. You're supposed to let him do this. Here we go. I right, beat him up. Beat him up with your acid hands. Oh, and he's kicking him. <laughs> you need to touch him with your hands. There he goes. Look, it just melts his face. That's cool. So you've got that. What other tier fours are there? Are right, these are like tier sevens? There's a giant human. This is a tier two. Uh, I'm assuming, hold on, let's let these two go at it real quick. Yeah, he's still gonna get melted here. It's still a thing. That's cool. So, tier twos, probably not the strongest. I shouldn't spawn those. Uh, let's see if we can find another tier four. I mean, you got the Midas one. That one's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have in tier four? All right, so looking, I don't have any other tier four ones. Uh, you've got the Midas and the Acid. So, we can go to tier five. You've got a ripper. This is a rip and tear human. Dude, that one looks cool. Hey, you, you need to turn around. You need to go fight. All right, let's see if we can get him to fight here. So go berserk. Nope, turn around. There you go. All right, so who do you think is going to win here? Uh Oh, oh, what? What? What What happened to the top part of the body? Dude, that was cool. Oh, he actually touched his hand. So he's a uh, part of his hand ripped off there. So, whatever it touches, it rips it apart. That's actually, uh, that's something. Oh, here it goes. It's going after. Oh, yep. His touch is spreading here. That's a cool one. So, we've got another, where's the other tier fives, actually? Oh, there was another tier four. It was a healer. So, nearby humans can't die. Wait. How does this work? So, does he go around just healing people? Uh, hold on, he's going to this one here that's apparently broken. Oh, this might be actually kind of cool. Dude, he healed him! What? So, this thing can heal anything. Hold on. Now I want to see this. These are, like, really, really unique. Let's see if it can heal something that's absolutely devastating. Let's get the chainsaw out. There we go. Alright. That was, a uh, okay, that was impressive. Hold on. And, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Wait, no, 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 I need you to die. Hold on, go on. There we go. All right, so we got that. Let's get the healer back out and see if he can uh, use his magic touch here. So does he automatically, oh, where, where's he going? Hey, you're supposed to heal people this way, not that way. Here, I'll control you. All right, so I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to start to heal the other ragdolls. He's kind of flopping around. He might hurt himself. So we healed the first one here. Okay, keep going. So can we heal the pile? You know what's weird? This actually causes a little bit of lag. Uh, oh. Oh, they're just getting up. I mean, you can't put them back together, but they're somewhat healed. This is awkward. All right, well, that's the healer. All right, so we have the nullificator. Am I saying that right? Wait, what does this do? So this one can nullify regeneration. What does that mean? So does it regenerate the ones around them? Hold on, so if I go... What do you do? Here, I need you to touch. Go, go, go touch this one. Go, go touch him. What's, am I helping you? 
Uh, maybe it's got to be the other arm. Hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah, go over there. There you go. No, 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 no. He can't decide what he wants to do. Here, go over there and touch this person. See what happens. All right, here we go. What does that mean? What is he doing? Uh, it doesn't seem to affect the other ones. What about himself? Here, let's grab... Oh, this looks dangerous. Can you heal yourself? Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out this one. This one I'm a little curious about. Hmm. Alright, so that's another tier 5. Let's go to tier 6 here and see what we got. Alright, so we have the Rotten God. This disintegrates flesh nearby. Alright, so this one's probably self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and maybe pause this. Let's go boom, boom, boom. And let's resume. Oh! That's cool. Dude, it just melted those other ragdolls. You've got that. Oh, there's an absorber. Hold on. This was another tier five. I need to probably put these in order. Maybe I can search these by tier. Let's so if I go tier. Oh, I don't think it works that way. I can type in HT and I'll put them in human tiers. So let's grab the absorber real quick. So this one can absorb humans to become stronger. Whoa. All right. That's creepy looking. So this one needs to touch normal humans here. So let's grab a normal human. I need you to go berserk. Go. Absorb him. Oh! So, how is this making it stronger, though? Here, let's put these humans. They're all going to take off running. All right. So, he's just melting and absorbing them. What the? Okay. Is he getting stronger? I like how this one's just backing up like, I don't know what's happening right now. Come on. Go absorb the other humans. Do it. This is cool. Do it. Oh, it needs a little assistance. There you go. So, I guess he's getting stronger. He doesn't look any different, but... I'm assuming he's harder to kill now. Hold on, let's check. We're gonna test this theory. Are you, are you harder to kill? Uh, I don't think so. Hold on, so can you absorb these and maybe heal yourself? Oh, wait, it does. So if it touches more, it healed itself. That's cool. Oh, I don't know what it's doing. It's doing like some sort of weird helicopter thing. So, we have one that can regenerate itself by absorbing humans. That's awesome. Alright, so we have another tier 6 here. This is called the Great Champion. So, it's got the Infinity Punch Power. <laughs> I think we know what this is going to do. So, obviously, we need to get just another human. And you need to go berserk. Just go punch him. Let's go slow-mo here because I want to see this happen. Alright. Oh, look at that. He's like a champion here. Oh, dude, look at the changing colors and... Oh, okay. You know, that kind of reminds me of the Ripper one. Like, it kind of feels like the same power. What if you were to put two tiers against each other? So, let's grab another one of these real quick. So, we'll go with... Hold on, let's go down. All right, so we got another great champion here. So, he's going to go berserk too. And we're going to have them attempt to fight each other. And let's see who wins here. Hey, you need to you need to fight back here. You're going berserk, right? Uh, yeah, he should be in the berserk mode. Uh oh, this might be bad. All right, fight each other. Oh, okay. So two tiers facing each other. They just seem to be a little confused. Uh, maybe we need to run one more test there. Here, I'll, I'll spawn in one more, and then we'll see if we can get them to fight. All right, go. You need to go at each other. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. Go berserk. And then we'll get another one over here to go berserk. Okay, they're both in berserk mode. Here we go. Oh, oh, wait, what? Okay. He, uh, he flew for a second. Oh, jeez. He lost his arms. Well, that's weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear that. So I guess, is there any more tier sixes? We might be going to tier seven, which I think that's the top tier. So, for tier 7, it appears that I have the enemy of humanity. Has immunity to most other powers, can absorb people to gain more powers, or you can absorb people to gain their powers, and I can change its ability. So, this is like a universal one. Oh, this one's creepy. So, yeah, look at this. I can change to any of the other modes here. That is... That's something. So, can it be killed? Let's go laser cannon. Uh, okay, we just launched it. And it's flying. And it's back up. But it lost its arm. Wait, does this thing still have power? 
Hold on. Now I'm curious. Grab a human. Okay, let's set its power to... Wait, can I set a power anymore? Oh, I might have to click on the arm to set a power. Uh, oh, look at this. So, turn it to absorb mode. So, I'm going to use its arm still. So, does this work? It does. So, the detached arm still works. What if you use its arm on itself? Okay, that doesn't work. So, uh, you know, I kind of wish I could attach this back, buddy. But, yeah, this is like the ultimate one. What other tier 7s? We have the star glitcher. Strong gravitational anomaly surrounds his body. Okay, spawn him. Oh, what the? Dude, this one's creepy. Finally spawn in some people. What the? Oh. Oh. Look what it does to him. It like explodes him. It flings him around. Okay, this is like the ultimate human here. So, question is, what is your guys' favorite human? Or favorite tier, basically? They're all really good. Like, they're all just kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you. Uh, but this is a cool mod. So, there's definitely some experiments you can do with these. I do like the uh, the regenerating human, because it's just fun to play with. And try to see if we can uh, take it down. So, can we infect this one? What happens if we actually just completely blow it up or something? Like, what comes back? We do have the one syringe. Hold on, let me find it. The infection one. This is like my favorite syringe. So if we go... It's gonna go... Okay, it exploded. But then it heals itself. And then it explodes again. Okay, that's how you take down the, uh, the invincible human. <laughs> it just disappeared. So yeah, infection syringe. All right, so we have one final test here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spawn in an arena and we're gonna spawn in every tier and we're gonna let them all face off and we'll see who actually comes out the victor. So which tier do you think is gonna come out? I mean, obviously you wanna say tier seven because it's the strongest tier. But you never know, maybe we'll get a surprise victor here. Okay, so this is probably definitely a mistake to spawn in all these tiers. Let's go slow-mo and, oh yeah, I forgot one. We gotta get a, a, a tier four human. So let's go, boom. All right, here we go, three, two, one, and okay. So immediately half of them exploded. So let's tell them to go berserk, uh-oh, uh-oh. So this tier seven over here is absolutely annihilating everything. What about this tier seven? So, oh, oh, I should probably give it, wait, what if I gave it the same powers as this one? So here, let me turn this on real quick. So I think it's the gravity power mode. Oh geez, all right, let's go full speed. So we're down to two tier sevens. The other ones are flying, uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> so I think we figured out which one's the most powerful one. It's the star glitcher. Like, not even the other tier 7, the enemy of humanity, even with the same power, it cannot do anything against the star glitcher. So, in order to celebrate here, we're just gonna fill this full of humans. So let's go, there we go. This is totally fine. That's awesome. So definitely go check out this mod. It's definitely a very unique mod. All right, here we go. And, oh, they all instantly exploded. So, yep, I think we know what's uh, strongest. Uh, the star glitcher he also looks like he's doing a little dance now he's like really happy so anyways thank you guys for all the love and support on the series you guys are amazing we'll see you guys next time